Okay, we'll go live in three, two, one. Yo. Okay, this is oh, Portal 2. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're good, you're good. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, this is Portal 2. It's pretty fast. And this is a game about movement and a few glitches and Valve being really bad at level design. Alright, timer starts soon. If you have already started timer, that's fine. But it starts in three. He's he's gone. Two. Oh, all right, I don't. Know. Three, two, one, go. We're going. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did it. So. Not much going on right here. The main thing we're doing in this game is bunny hopping, so if you don't know what that is, basically we... When you're holding forward or backwards, you can only go so fast in the game, but when you're in the air and you strafe and you look to a direction, you go a bit faster, so we just do that over and over again, and we jump right away so that we don't lose speed when we're on the ground. And aside from that, we have this fancy little gun that makes holes. And by knowing what the levels are like and combining. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, <man. You're> okay. <laughs> the other thing I should say right now is my internet provider has been being really horrible lately, so my ping is really bad right now, so weird things might happen. Oh, I almost got it. Yeah, you can throw the, the cube there. But there's... Oh, oh. <laughs> I always miss that oh. jump. <laughs> there's some great level design going on from Valve, though. Such as this window ledge you can just kind of stand on. Oh yeah, and this is, like, the hitbox is out way before. <laughs> it's... The hitboxes show up immediately, but then they fold up. It's pretty great. So right there, we just jumped and did an aerial taunt because at that door, it, the game forces you to do a taunt, and it's just faster. To, the fastest taunt in the game is an aerial taunt, and it doesn't care what taunt you're doing as long as you do a taunt. So at any point where the game's like, hey, you need to do a taunt, we just do that. Um, you're watching Drast's video, by the way. He's playing as Atlas and I'm Peabody. That's me. You. This is the computer intelligence training and enrichment. Alright, so this is the lobby where we'll get into each chapter. And there is this one fun trick where physics just lets you fling your yourself perfectly through there. It actually doesn't save time, but it looks cool. <laughs> also it I did it perfectly. Lose time. Oh yeah, that's the thing. So, there's not a lot going on early on in the game, it's just about being fast at movement and executing things tightly. Later on they'll be putting portals through walls and whatnot. Yes. But the beginning of the game is fairly solid. Ish. <laughs> Ish. It has some broken Ish. things in it. It's Okay, so easy mechanics, not a lot going on. It's just optimization in movements all over the place. Obviously, there's harder yep. strats to do, but we're pretty average when it comes to skill in this game. I am, at least. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm good at the game. Okay. So. Oh, 
Somebody in chat has a good point about doing inputs for bunny hopping. What we do is we have our scroll wheel bound to jump when we scroll so that we can jump on the exact frame we land and it makes us lose a lot less speed. And it's just much easier in general than if we were trying to do shift. The weird thing that people familiar with bunny hopping in other games might not be familiar with in Portal 2 is the speed cap that they put in. So if we go above 300 units of speed, the game will lock our horizontal control, which is something they put in because of aerial faith plates launching you. And it's just really annoying because you can't go above a certain speed or it will just you'll lose control and generally you will be facing the worst direction when you lose control. You just fly off into a pit or something like that. I didn't get it. Oh, you got okay. it. So this is Rat Maze. At the beginning there, you, it tries to make us do a taunt. And what I did there is I hopped away and I did the aerial taunt again because the game just wants you to do a taunt. Oh. Okay. There you go. Um, something to note at the end of this stage. This laser thing, it, it wants you to shine the laser into that to open the door, but the door just opens immediately as soon as you connect the laser, and then it never closes. So we just have to... He comes through with the cube and shines the laser, and it just opens immediately and stays there. It's pretty great. Um, <laughs> also, what I wanted okay, to show there... Hmm? Alright. No, go ahead. What I wanted to show there at the end of level was... Uh, uh, preserving uh, cubes by pu pushing it un under the, the grid. Normally when you want to push cubes, uh, bring three... What am I trying to say? Blah. I don't know. Oh. And th there you saw what we like okay. to call max speed. So, this is a level that's nice and broken from just movement. You may have seen me jump across the gap there, I hope you did anyways. That is... A fairly difficult jump if you're not good at bunny hopping, but as soon as you can bunny hop, you can just hop across the gap, and the entire portal puzzle is meaningless. What I wanted to bring up was that you can preserve cubes by pushing them under the grid. Normally, when you bring cubes through grids, it normally gets destroyed. You'll be seeing that later on in the run, in at least one level. Yes. Okay, now we're going to a behind-the-scenes level, which is just a slightly different theme, and here, instead of getting to the end, we have to find a disc and put it in a DVD player. Or a laser disc. I guess it's more like a laser disc player. It's pretty big. Oh. Hello? I got sparks. <laughs> you sparks from, <laughs> from, from, from lag. Yeah, so something fun that can happen when you're lagging particularly badly in this game for multiplayer is your portal can spark, we call it, where it just doesn't form even when you shoot it onto a actual portal surface. It's, it's just something fairly annoying we have to live with because of networking. Yeah, running this game co-op while being in Sweden and America at the same time is probably not a good idea. But, you know. It works okay. Okay, oh. so we're coming back to the lobby now, and we need to jump and taunt, because it wants to force us to taunt again, and we don't like doing anything but backflips. Stop it. What if you froze like that? There must be something wrong with the reassembly machine. Well, let's do some tests and see what happens. Ah, huh. that was a pretty good lobby. Teleported forward. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yes. You know, l l lags are a great <coughs> thing whenever you run this game. <laughs> it's not the best. Okay, this is a fairly standard level, it's just... Ah. That was... Oh. This is all about momentum through portals. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was... My phone started going off, so I looked at it. It was ah. a mistake, in retrospect. Oh! <laughs> Good phone. <laughs> my phone is, like, throwing me off now. It keeps vibrating. Alright. 
Yeah, it's just a telemarketer too. That is. Whatever. This. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so. This level was just broken by momentum, and here at the end, her dialogue takes a really long time. What dressed was standing slightly outside of the elevator to try to enter at a very specific time to make the level fade out just a bit quicker. There's timings to do that on most levels, though a lot of the times we don't bother doing that. The time you save is minimal either way. Okay. Interesting note. I only created this test to watch test subjects fail, and you didn't. You must be very damn proud. It's going pretty well so far, I'd say. No major mistakes. Silly. But then again, the, the start of this game is mainly just movement based. Okay, we're coming up to a level called Team Retrieval now, and this has a glitch in it called Button Stick, where this is something that you can only do as the client, so as Peabody. You just hop onto a button and then you hop off right away. There it did. And it just locks the button into the on state. So I don't need Dress to come down here, instead he can just grab the ball right away. And I can go over here and kill myself. Now I'm killing myself here because it changes the dialogue that GLaDOS says, and interrupts the normal end of stage dialogue with one about death, which is quicker. Saves a bunch of time. I've just gone around here with how slow my start was. <laughs> yeah, I could have done that. So, there's a cool strat that Drast hasn't worked out how to do yet in this stage, where you can actually strafe around in the air and hit both buttons from a single launch upwards. It, but that's not appearing in this run. <laughs> no, no, no. I could probably do it, but I'm not good enough to do it, in my opinion. So it's an elitist trick, is what you're saying? Not. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, catapults. This is a fun stage that is all about tight timings. Just not at the beginning. Wait, what? That portal didn't place, and the other one placed off to the side. <laughs> so, stuff. Drast was able to shoot a portal onto the backside of that slanted surface while flying through the air, and then I followed behind him and I was. Oh, are oh. you kidding me? Oh, and now I replaced that one? <laughs> Just. Okay, I'll. <laughs> Execution mistakes. Um, I did do a taunt there at the end because when you're both on the platform, it forces you to do a taunt. So again, taunt replacement. But yeah, you can normally just strafe around the corner area in order to end the level instead of doing any of the puzzle. Yeah, my strafe was just a bit awkward. You have to be particularly smooth with your movements to make it around. In, in, in other Source games, you can be quite jerky in your movements and and still okay, gain a so lot of speed. This is multi-fling. The first thing we do is we just kind of steal the cube. And then I hold the cube on this while Drast shoots that platform at a particular spot where you can just kind of place a portal up here for some reason. Then I take the cube with me and the door stays open because he's already through it and it doesn't want you to soft lock. And I just look down and I crouch while holding the cube and I can carry it through a fizzler. And we do this so that we can just keep the first cube and not have to do the nonsense to get the cube in this chamber. 
There is actually a faster strat than bringing the cube. It is quite, quite bullshit actually. You need to do a weird strafe while getting flinged by a, a, a aerial faith plate. It saves some time, but it's it's hard. Wouldn't recommend trying to do it. We haven't gotten it nailed down well enough to use it in a run yet. I think we have one aisle record with it. Not record, I see. Okay. Let's... Oh. Faith plate. <laughs> I pointed to the wrong one. <laughs> well, dear. Okay. It was still fast enough. We only recently... He wanted to do that. Wow, that was a good sentence. <laughs> he only recently wanted to do that. <laughs> Yeah, we normally have a slightly different strat at the beginning of this chamber where we just strafe, but it's we've been screwing it up a bit lately, yes. so we wanted to just do the safer strat. Also noteworthy for anyone that just wondered what, what the fuck I just did, there's a dev block in there that actually just opens the door that they didn't, like, remove. <laughs> because, again, Valve is really good at level design. Why would he... Okay, we're going behind the scenes again to Industrial Fan. And there is a laser in this that you're supposed to use to shut down the fan, and we kind of do that, but only once. First off, you can just grab this cube out of the pipe there. The part with the thick plastic seam doesn't exist. And then I stop the fan and Drast goes over there, and then Whoa. Drast just does everything and I sit over here and play with the cube. You actually don't need both uh, players to activate both of the switches at the same time. As long as you're fast enough, then it's not a problem. Uh, no. Very I good. fell. You found <laughs> well, I do need you to be yeah, you don't actually need both bots to do any of the behind the scenes. They just... I, guess. I suppose. Also, the dialogue cuts here. Like, they actually forgot to <laughs> keep in the last bit of dialogue here for whatever reason. Okay, now we're going to be doing another taunt skip. Oh, okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the game <laughs> brought me into it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Playing with leg is a lot of fun because, like, I don't know where he is, and then I just end up running into Drast, and I don't know what's going on. From my perspective, it, it looks like he's so, just running intentionally in front of me, but to him, the entire screen is shaking, and he has no clue where I am. <laughs> yeah. So now we have a new po uh, puzzle element these light bridges, and they make things a bit more broken, just like every other portal element, or puzzle element in portal. So because of, well that's not really a glitch in the level design, that's just a logical thing we just did, but now we abuse air control with faith plates to just kind of skip having to place uh, light bridges in to stop ourselves, and we just bounce off the ceiling in effective ways. Then again, I just have to activate the button while he walks through the door, and then once he's through, I can unactivate the button and the door will stay open. Which is good because with how high my ping is, physics objects don't really like me, so... Going back to these old would satisfy you. Oh, ah. you missed. Yeah. Or I missed. One of us missed. So, in the... To get some speed, we just kind of... I jump and he tries to catch me. It usually... Oh. What? Oh! What? <laughs> okay. Okay, that... That's uh, different. I, it just knocked me sideways when he moved the bridge down slightly. Alright. <laughs> that um, was fun. Uh, But all we do here is he gets me raised up really high and then I can shoot a portal onto that wall. And we can just kind of walk right to the end instead of walking around. 
So congratulations. Also glad to say smug if you fail in here. You only failed two <laughs> times. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is actually really great. Yes. Although we've heard it so often that it gets kind of annoying at this point. Okay, this level is called Fling Block, and this has uh, some cool execution in it. Oh good, the ball didn't jump out this time. We were playing yesterday and the ball jumped out on me and it was pretty great. So, Dress just placed this at an angle and it just happens to bounce us over into the exit room, which saves a bunch of portal maneuvering with the light bridges. You're supposed to have a bunch of portals everywhere, but you know, as long as you put it at an angle, you can just bounce off of it pretty easily. Um, a person in chat requested you turn off your net graph so that my view is slightly more visible. I'll do that after this. So, here we're in catapult lock and there's one catapult you actually use in this chamber. You do the first part of the chamber as intended, but then you get to this part of the chamber and oh, it's I'm back to more of... Yeah. It's more of Valve's great level design because you can just jump off of there right over to the exit and ignore most of the second room's puzzle elements. There you go. In fact, if you have the bridge positioned properly, you don't even have to try to strafe while you're in the air. You can literally just hold W and jump across and make it. Also, so I'm not sure. You, if you do it perfectly, you don't even have to jump. You can just do a strafe. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good game. It's it's easy, is what we're... If you can hold W and jump, you can make that jump. Alright, so here's okay, a portal bump. It's not used a lot in this game. Oh, I'm gonna back. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna back again. <laughs> there <on>. we go. <laughs> All right, if I... So this is the only out of bounds used in the entire run. And just for a moment, he uses it to pop up onto the second level a bit easier and quicker. And if he would have moved incorrectly there, he would have started falling, and there is no way to get back without restarting the level. Because you can't kill yourself in this game with a command or anything like that, it's not allowed. The kill command is behind uh, SV Cheats restriction. Yes. You can restart the level, but then it becomes not a single segment run. So that's not a good trick to screw up. It is pretty easy, but if you miss, like, slightly do it wrong, like, you mm -hmm. start doubting yourself and then it's just hard. All you really have to do for it is you walk through and then you hold left and jump. But in order to do it fast, you have to make sure that you strafe as soon as you can. Mostly because you can't build ah. Okay, nothing really interesting going on in this chamber. Just try to move as quickly as... Ah. Oh, Hello, know. leg. <laughs> you do play a little bit dangerously with just the turrets because they do have to shoot you for a certain amount of time before you die. That means we can just replace the bridge and not really worry. There's actually some oh. tricks for the, the zero portal like ch challenges uh -huh. where you use the turrets shooting at you in order to gain momentum and fly over gaps. Yeah, if you haven't seen any of it before, you should look up some least portals, portal 2 videos after the marathon and just oh. kind of watch what goes on. What is happening oh. here? <laughs> what just what happened? is happening? <laughs> okay, so I lagged and then everything went horribly, horribly wrong. I'm not sure why it did, but... Okay, now we're here. here. <laughs> That's what was supposed to happen. Um... I... 
don't really know how to explain that. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay! Alright, I'm locking it for you. Oh, there we go. Um, so there we just kind of hop around outside of where the level expects us to go. And you can do that without any fancy movement really, I think. You Pretty just much. have to be aware that the hitboxes for those railings are really, really tall, so you can't jump over the railing. Um, aside from that, at the end there, I ducked while walking down the stairs to the exit, because that turret can and will kill you when shooting at you, but if you duck at the bottom there, it can't shoot you anymore. So, it's a good way to stop yourself from dying. This is another of the behind the scenes maps here. Okay. So we do a fun little trick here where I can shoot above one of the emancipation girls and then Drast can just jump through onto the top of that pillar. Oh, I'm, I'm actually gonna wait for you because marathon. That is the safe thing to do, I suppose. Wow, you didn't hit the switch? <laughs> no, I missed it once. Um, normally, if we're trying to be fast, Drast will just leave me behind there, because the door on the other side there shuts once you've gone through. Also, another And you really only need there. one person, because you just strafe over and land by the exit, and you don't need to get both of you over there. Ah. <laughs> also, a, a lot of objects in this game has small, small pixel walks all over the, the game. Because why would he ever, you know, look at scenery and whatnot? I don't know. There's so much they messed up in this game. <laughs> but that's what makes it good for speedruns. <laughs> Okay, so this lobby, it doesn't force us to taunt, and we just go down here. Now you dressed, ran forward a little bit, because you need to go forward a certain amount before it triggers the light bridge and lets the door open. But once he does that, then he just turns around too, and we both just jump down onto the bridge, because it's quicker. And it's a really easy jump. Okay, so here we have a particularly fun puzzle element called Excursion Funnels. And on the first day that Portal 2 was out, people found out how to fly using Excursion Funnels. Oh, you need to save me here. I do. Um, well, okay. That's good, I was getting a bit low, I think. So, if you are at a complete stop in an excursion funnel and then you crouch and you come to a complete stop again and you just stay crouched then you can fly when you leave the excursion funnel by that I mean that gravity just doesn't affect your character so you will continue in a straight line at whatever um, vertical movement you have now you can move around horizontally but in order to change your vertical movement, you need to either hit an object, or just leave at that angle. Wait, what? Why the heck was I fi what? It's, it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was facing the wrong way when I spawned, so that was pretty cool. Um, this puzzle is fairly not broken. Aside from at the beginning, I just launched myself to make things a bit faster. Um, this chamber also has a lot of dialogue. Like, a lot of it. Mine ends here, but his is ongoing. 40. Please continue into the next test chamber. Yeah, it just takes forever. <laughs> the way this game works is they, they have different dialogue depending if you're playing as a Peabody or Atlas. Because Gladys is trying to put you against each other. It's a great story element. <laughs> Orange, Blue and I were just discussing your behavior on the last few tests. 
Okay, so this chamber is broken because you can actually put two portals on this portal surface. And then you can just do this. I guess there's a big thing with like a thing that folds down and a floor and stuff, but really you can you can just do that. It's easy. Anyone can do it. I'm not sure I trust the two of you together. It's another good example of Valve's... Well, ooh, you almost got the I, I thing. almost got it. <laughs> I mean, you'd assume that they at least would have understood that they can't just put it like that, but... What do you know? Yeah, this is the second most broken chapter of the game. And everything is just so silly. So here we just fly again, and we happen to be able to use a portal to fly at exactly the right height. Oh, to not fly at all. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait a little bit longer, I guess. Yeah. But it's at exactly the right height to do that, to get right over the exit. And again, we do the taunt because it's another instance where the game forces you to taunt. I, I, I would have gone for it. <laughs> actually here. If if you time your B hops correctly here, you can actually just do a, a single B hop over the entire gap here. It is. I'm not sure it's the hardest jump in the game, but it's what. It's not easy. The hardest jump in this category, anyways. It's really hard. I think that the hardest jump in this game is probably one of the, the least portal strats where you have to do like a actually perfect oh. jump in order to reach a funnel. <laughs> oh yeah, the least portal strats are ridiculous. Again, I recommend looking up some least portal videos on YouTube if you haven't seen them before. The physics abuse that people get up to is kind of ridiculous. The, the strat I was talking about is actually in this level. Where you have oh, to nice. b-hop all the way over to this. Oh, you got slow fly? Yeah. I don't even know if I hit this. Yeah, okay, I did. I'm not going up any further. I'm really jittery right now. So, the one problem about fly is, for the client, is the worse your ping is, the more you jitter around. <laughs> and... I'm just bouncing up and down so hard when I'm trying to fly, and it's really hard to tell exactly where I am vertically. And we both caught ourselves under that little ledge there, because if we didn't, then we'd just keep flying up forever, and... Like, you can't just stop yourself at any height, you need to hit a surface. Stop. So this is a nice little strat where we just abuse colliding into each other. Which normally is awful, but in some cases you can do some cool strats like this. And just kind of skip the entire puzzle by launching ourselves up. There's another dialogue skip. It doesn't actually skip dialogue, but it ends it faster. Okay, so we're coming up on Fuzzle Maze. Fuzzle? Funnel Maze? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There's. I haven't actually done this before. Shot. <laughs> I fell down. What? How do you get up? Um. Uh, get off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay, so there's an excellent shot Drast has to do up here where he just shoots through a seam and he grabs the cube directly without having to do any of this giant maze over here. Because that would be slow. And then we just get the cube whoa, to whoa. ourselves and 
fall and launch yourselves over to the end of the stage. Congratulations. You completed the second section of this course. Before we can go any further, again, Valve is just really good at level design and their hitboxes are just amazing in every way. Exactly, it's a perfect game and no one should ever say anything else about it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of skipping big chunks of levels, in this next out of bounds okay. level, we're gonna skip a big chunk of it by jumping and getting a precise portal shot. So this level is particularly great because you're skipping, would you say 90% of it? Probably. You just have to jump and shoot a portal there. Oh, I got it! But I also died. I, I wasn't here in time. Yeah, I know. Oh, shoot. If my movement was faster, that would have been okay. But So I shoot down on that turret production line with a portal, and then Drast just gets on the thing, and he can shoot the wall there, and then I can go through his portal. And it puts me right at the very end of the level, so I can just go over here and collect the record. No! <laughs> uh, no, I screwed up. There's, if you haven't seen it before, there's actually a companion cube around the corner in this level, and we were both trying to view it, and Dress didn't get fly, and I bunked on the corner, so I wouldn't have been able to get there in time. Yeah, it was at a slight weird angle. Normally, doing it is quite easy. Okay, so now we have just one chapter left, and it is the most broken of all chapters in this game, because it has the most elements, and it's coming from over here, where there's a wall, <laughs> but now there's not a wall, and for some reason, your uh, timer ping is so much bigger than other pings, it, it's pretty great, so we just, while we wait, we sit up here and we time the wall. <laughs> But now a faith plate pops out of the wall and we just jump over onto it. It's not really faster doing this, but it's more fun than portaling ourselves above it. And really, if you're not having fun, why are you even speedrunning? <laughs> oh yeah, you can stand here too. If, if both of us uh, land on this, we actually don't actually get into the level, because the, yeah, the trigger so to we'll... enter the next level is down <laughs> in, in the pipe. Yeah, there's a trigger that you have to hit to load the next level. Which is different from the normal end of level triggers, which is normally just time based. Which we will demonstrate here. Oh shoot, I wasn't standing on the button. Why wasn't oh, I standing on the button? Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Static. <laughs> okay. That, that works. We, we take those. Also, yeah, there's yeah, small so ledges you can stand on. Neither of us fell there, but it still went to the next level, so it's just the time-based trigger compared to the other one. It's silly. So, this chamber is called Double Bounce, I believe? And you bounce once, so it's a lie. Now, you can actually bounce straight to the exit, but we do a backup strat there with portals just to be a bit safer. Both of us can actually do that, the goo. but it's not consistent with either one of us, so going for it is not viable. Well, it's fairly consistent for you, it's yeah. just I'm, I'm bad. You're just horrible. I hold dress back, I admit it. <laughs> just slightly. To get to the vault, you are going to need to use all the tricks you have learned. Help. Wait, what? Oh, you, you <laughs> hit <Okay>. right next <laughs> So, in this level, you can fall down under the scaffolding. Oh, okay. Uh, I shot the wrong portal. Sorry, somebody was talking to me. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we shoot scaffolding, and then I can just walk into this chamber. 
And then we can just kind of hop there instead of using the bounce gel that it gives you. Oh, sorry, I was interrupting. I completely screwed up my plans for commentating this chamber. <laughs> it's fine. Real life RNG will always get you in the end. That's the problem with online marathons. Okay, wall repulsion. There's gel here and a bunch of other fun stuff, but you can just kind of walk over and land on this light against the wall, and then jump off that, and then we're done with the first part. And this part of the chamber has a small, small space where you can shoot a portal, and that actually takes you to the end of the level. Yes. Nice little pixel shot. So, I called this chapter the most broken, and I'm not even sure it's actually because of the gels, because most of the time, like this, we're not using the gels, it's just the level design when it's the style is so broken. <laughs> it's super easy to bypass the intended methods. It is also okay, the, the case when you play single player. Yes. Now we're going to a level called um, Propulsion Crushers. Oh, alright. Uh, I was a bit late there. And... and I missed it! <laughs> Yeah, this is... <laughs> timing is hard, basically. It also doesn't help that we're playing with a bunch of ping. Yeah, so... Normally, we time this much better than this. Normally, we get it on the uh, first try. Yeah, hence much better. Did you shoot your portal? Yeah, I have it. Okay, so something cool about this is they make you go through an excursion, or a fizzler, why do I keep saying excursion? It's it's a fizzler. We go through a fizzler, so it fizzles your portals, but then right after you go through it, you can shoot back into the first chamber with a portal, and then we can later on just go to that portal and grab the first cube so we don't have to get the cube in the second half, which would require a lot of nonsense with those crushers and speed gel. But luckily we can just bring it along. Never met they oh. are as bad as Our friends, the turrets, are back for this level, and you're supposed to use speed gel to launch yourself, but there is a glitch with speed gel where if you crouch and move on it, it moves you oh. faster. There's a turret there. And I don't know why I'm showing you that, because this is the wrong chamber for that trick. <laughs> I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> okay, so... That's next chamber. Have you put on your portals? There's a I turret here, so an I. Idiot right now. <laughs> so you don't even need that trick, and I'm an idiot right now. <laughs> 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 I can't even do anything but laugh because I'm. So yeah, you just um, if you use the speed to get yourself down into that portal, it puts you at exactly the right speed that you should be going if you launch yourself off of the long track. So we just do that and everything is great. Now this is the chamber that I meant to be talking about where you have to use the speed trick and I am still silly. So normally you're supposed to use uh, portals on two walls to kind of run infinitely to build up enough speed but you can just crouch on it and get enough speed because when you move on gel or rather, when you stand up or crouch, it just like takes your current speed and sets it to well, the, the standing max speed. Percent, like, say you're going 70% of your max speed standing and you crouch, it sets you to 70% of your max speed while crouched. So you just, when you're crouched, it takes a lot less distance to reach your max speed because you're moving slower. And then when you stand up, you're instantly going your full speed for standing. Also coming up is the, the last <laughs> level, which has a lot of greats. I wouldn't call it out of bounds, but... Hi turret. Okay, I got the turret to shoot at me. You're welcome. Oh, pfft. And then I did that, you're not welcome. I'm sorry. Uh, I fucked it up. But you it's can okay, still go ahead. Okay. So, 
We just kind of really abuse level design. You can shoot things out of bounds, and you can just kind of stand on this surface that isn't folded up, and lots of other things like that in this level. It is probably the most broken. It's like this game gets more broken as it goes on, and here Drast uses the funnel to fly off of the floor, and he just skips that part of the puzzle and flies up. Time is now you can up. actually, yeah, time is coming up. And what he did there was he got the blue gel to spawn. You don't actually need the blue gel. Time. Uh, time. Nice run, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Actually, this so is actually we... pretty good, brother. <laughs> well, it's not that great, Dress. Eh. It's better it's than plus two minutes on our PV. But there was some silly stuff I did just. J jumping off the level and stuff. <laughs> but thanks everybody, this has been Portal 2 Co-op and thanks for watching. Thanks. Hey, thanks for playing guys. Yeah.